we played many, many Mondays, and there were some great ones, and there were some terrible ones, and that's the way it always was with his band. The band would sound great sometimes, and it would sound terrible sometimes, but the fact that we were given the freedom to sound great or terrible, rather than have to play the same music every time or the same way every time or anything like that, the fact that he gave us all that creative freedom, the good nights were better than any nights I ever had with any other band. They were the, I mean, in general, from the time I was with him from the beginning, the good nights with his band were the best nights creatively of any band I ever played with. He was always looking to the future he, and to the present. He never wanted to do what he had done. So he was always looking for something different. And a lot of players came through the band who wanted to play the way he played at a particular time. And then when he stopped playing that way, they still wanted to play that way, so they left. I was always fascinated by the change and uh, always changed with him and hoped to follow the great inspiration and examples set to me by him and by Miles Davis and try to improvise over the sounds of the times, over the, over the dance beats of the day. Gil Evans' influence on the jazz musicians today is um, huge. It's really huge, uh, particularly on writers. I mean, writers, uh, most of the writers that I know just idolize him. The best writers I know consider him a mystery. It's just mysterious. They cannot understand how he wrote what he wrote. And you can see many uh, tributes to his genius from Miles Davis. Um, I still don't think people really understand what kind of a genius he was, I mean, in general.